<sighs> ah, yo, good morning. Zach Scott here with another quick Source Filmmaker tutorial. This time I'm going to show you how to fix the worst thing that can possibly happen in Source Filmmaker. Maybe you've run into this before, maybe you haven't. But sometimes in Source Filmmaker you know, you'll notice that when you're doing a lot of um, graph editor animation, you will eventually potentially get to a point where you can no longer animate. And I happen to have gotten to one point, uh, one such point here, and so I'm just going to show you what it's like. So um, if we check out this keyframe, for example, uh, I can grab the, let's just grab the front right. Or actually front left, rear, uh, front left, there we go. I can grab this keyframe, and as you can see, I can move it around totally fine. Um, but there comes to be there, there comes to be a problem in your source filmmaker file where uh, your your animation will kind of grind to a halt and you will no longer be able to animate. So see if I show you this keyframe. Now when I move it, the arm, it barely moves at all. Um, and even even if I do move it, it won't actually like it won't actually accurately update. Um, it'll uh, see it's just breaking pretty badly. Um, the reason it was moving is because it's actually hitting a, a breaking point around 18 seconds and uh, when I was moving it it was moving the curve so uh, you can see how it's changing the curves there so it's not actually moving it after 18 seconds it's just changing how the curve is um, and that is that is garbage bad um, and I know a lot of people have run into this and I just recently found the solution so I'm going to show it to you so uh, the reason this happens is because every animation you animation set you uh, have has an internal uh, play length which is separate from the clip length, um, which gets generated on its spawn. And uh, this also happens for IK rigs as well, where an IK rig will generate a certain amount uh, of space that only covers your uh, entire animation set. But if you increase the size of the clip, like, uh, like let's say, let's say I made an animation on this clip, um, and and that was good, and I just spawned it in, it would be about 25 seconds long. And then if I make the clip, uh, 30 seconds or 40 seconds, that animation is going to start to break down around 25 seconds and it'll be unusable for the other second half of the video. And that's why that, uh, that's kind of why this bug happens. Um, it's a little technical, but I can show you quickly how to fix it. So if you get into this situation where you can't animate your characters, all you got to do is uh, select the anim set for that actor. Uh, so in this case, head crab. Go to show an element viewer and go to channels clip. And this will show the secret internal time and data of the channel, so or of the clip. So we go into time frame, and as you can see, uh, his duration here was actually 13 seconds, so it was even lower than 18 seconds. Um, and if we just go in and we change this to, I'm just going to say uh, 60, so 60 seconds should be more than enough, um, and just hit enter on that. And now if I go into my head crab, so let me find uh, front left and find that keyframe again, and I should be able to move it again. So, let's see here. Yep, so now I have that keyframe, and it's all fucked up, so I'm just gonna grab this. And now, now I can keyframe just fine, and I can resume working. Um, yeah, so if you've been encountering this, this is what it is. It is the worst fucking thing if you don't know how to fix it. So, uh, you know, keep this stuff in mind. Uh, cool, that's it for today. Um, expect some more critter videos all next week. My goal is to try and get one out every single day. So, um, hopefully, uh, I can hit that. See you on the internet.